everyone and welcome back to JSA TV where we are coming to today live from the floor of Data Cloud Global Congress 2025 here in beautiful Cannes, France. And we're talking to leaders across the digital infrastructure industry about the latest stories, trends and innovations impacting our industry. I'm very pleased to be joined by Brittany Miller, who's the SVP of Construction and Infrastructure Development for ND NTT Global Data Centers. Brittany, welcome. Thanks yeah, for joining thanks. us. Yeah. Thanks for having How's me. the show going so far? It's, it's good. Yeah. It's, it's a, a good show. It is a great show. Yeah. It's busy. Yeah. It's a lot of lot of things happening, a lot of great conversations. Yes. And I'm sure a lot of great conversations happening with you and, and your team at NTT. I know it's a, there's a lot in the pipeline for you. Yeah. I understand that you have plans to invest over $10 billion, Is that right? Yeah. $10 billion through to 2027. Yeah. That's a significant investment. What's yeah. what's driving that? You know, I think it's just, you know, all, the overall market, right? We're still seeing cloud and AI demand and reacting to that globally. We've made last year publicly, I think we announced about a billion dollars in different markets across the globe, from Japan to the States to Europe. Um, and so we're really investing heavily and building, um, you know, quite a bit um, all over the world. Yeah. There's, I mean, the industry is just continues to grow yeah. and, and you're supporting that. I know that there's a lot of, you know, the demands, of course, for AI and and, and um, high performance computing are driving a lot of that. The the, the demand for, for new facilities, new new. Um, new infrastructure how are you keeping up to that and how are you adapting that yeah the needs so, I mean it's it's a bit um, interesting in our industry I don't think we've seen such a large shift you know um, I would say generally our designs were very standard for the last 10 years right. in the last couple of years it's been a huge shift particularly this year we've seen densities of over a hundred, right, kilowatts and liquid cooling. So just in the states, we've deployed over a hundred megawatts of liquid cooling. Um, and then we also have been really focused on our technology roadmap and staying ahead of it and offering kind of different solutions, whether it's cloud-based or kind of a high-density AI solution, um, because we're seeing our customers still need that flexibility um, right. and their zones as they grow. And so that's what, kind of what we're doing to stay ahead of uh, the roadmap. And with all of this development, it's putting a lot of pressure, I think, on, on supply chain, right? How are you managing that pressure yeah. while continuing? Obviously, you have a lot of momentum and a lot of growth plans. How are you balancing those two pressures? Yeah, I would say, you know, uh, I think there's a couple differentiators for us, right? We're kind of the third largest globally, so we have that global footprint um, yeah. pretty much in every market. And so one of the things that we're doing with our kind of standard designs is that really enables our supply chain to get prepared years in advance and us to be quite nimble across the globe. Um, so we have quite a mature supply chain team that we order years and years in advance right. and then are able to allocate um, things differently and um, getting ahead of what is coming is key to that, right? Because mm -hmm. it may not be the same equipment and it may not be the same right. things that we're ordering in the future. And I mean, things are changing so, so quickly, quickly, yeah, that you have to, yeah, the crystal ball comes yeah. in, it comes <laughs> in handy, a little bit. Yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else you want to share? Anything, any highlights, anything you're looking forward to in conversations over the over the upcoming week here? Yeah, I mean, it's a great show. Um, I'm speaking about an hour on supply chain and oh, great. right? and kind of the challenges around that. Talking a little bit uh, on that panel around construction, particularly like the labor that I don't think um, gets talked about and the challenges right. across different emerging markets and the maturity of those. So I'm excited right. to talk about that. Um, you can see a lot of AI liquid pooling, different technologies, different companies being introduced. So that will be good. And then uh, Doug is now our CEO is speaking um, about some of the, the kind of upcoming things we have. So it's going to be a great conference. I'm yeah. looking forward to it. Yeah, I think you hit on all the top topics there. Yeah. yeah. So thank you. So thank you. Thank you yeah. for, I know it's a really, really busy conference. Yes. So I, we really appreciate you yes, taking a few course. minutes out of your time to come chat with us. Yeah. Yeah. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in again to JSA TV. Keep tuning in today as we bring stories and news and updates from leaders across the digital infrastructure industry. Until next time, stay tuned.